Are you doing everything right but not making any more money? That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. So the question is, are you doing everything right, but you're not making any more money? And the reason I ask this is because I had a dealer call me last week that watches Think Tank. And he says, Paul, I don't understand. I'm doing everything you talk about, and I'm not making any more money. And I said, well, what do you mean? What's that mean exactly? He says, well, I'm doing it all right. I'm doing SEM. I'm doing SEO. I'm doing marketing automation. I'm doing email. I'm doing social media advertising. I'm looking at the conversion on my website. I'm focused on my website. I've got the best website in my market. I'm doing it all right, but I'm not making any more money. And I said, well, let's back up for a minute. What do you mean you're doing everything right? It sounds like the things you are doing right is you've hired the companies to do those services for you to drive more traffic. But what happens to that traffic? And he says, well, what do you mean? I'm driving the traffic to my website. I'm focused on my website for the conversion. I said, no, 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 no. Let's, let's back up. If I was to pick up the phone and call you, who would answer? In other words, if I picked up the phone and called your dealership, would it just go into the sales floor or would it go to a BDC department? If I was to send you an email lead, how long would it take before somebody responded to it? And when that email lead went into your CRM, what would be the process? Do you have a lead status and a lead status detail? Is there a way to follow it all the way through? And he goes, well, yeah, I've worked on all that. And I said, well, okay, let's take it a step farther. So you're spending all of this money, but do you really know what that money's doing for you? In other words, if I come in and I do a chat lead, do you know as far as how your individuals, your team can handle that chat lead? In other words, what's the conversion of the chat lead? If I come in on a chat lead, how long before I'm actually contacted? How long before that I show up as an appointment and what's my chances of buying? If I'm an SEM client, in other words, if I come in on an SEM lead, do you know how that converts on your website and how that lead is handled? He said, well, wait, this is getting a little deep. And I said, well, you're telling me you're doing everything right, but are you? Does this sound like your dealership? Are you focused on the SEM and the SEO and the CRM and the BDC and all of this, but you're not focused on your people and their process? Because you can throw a whole lot of stuff against the wall and some of it's going to stick. But if you don't have a set process internally, then you're going to be spending a lot more money than you need to spend and you're not going to see the results. I mean, it's the same thing as if I walked into your showroom, how would I be greeted? How would I be treated? And what would my conversion be? In other words, what's the likelihood that I'm going to do a test drive and I'm going to end up buying the vehicle? Well, that number is going to be different. That percentage is going to be different based on the salesperson that I'm greeted with. Because all of your salespeople have different, really, as far as a different specialty. They're really good at something. And the same thing happens for your internet department. Those internet leads coming in, you need to know exactly your internet team. Who is the best at getting the person on the phone in five minutes or less? And they will make sure if I don't do the deal that day that they have a follow-up process. In other words, everyone in your dealership is good and really good at something. But oftentimes, they're not good at everything that goes through the process. So if you're spending a lot of money and you're not making more money, it's simple. There's something broken in the process. That's generally what I mean now. If you're spending a lot of money, is it really resulting to leads and opportunities? That's the first thing you want to look at. And if it is, in fact, that it's generating leads, now you've got to move back to the people and the process. After we talked about this and we went through it, and he's like, oh, that's the problem. I don't have the process. It was much easier for me to spend the money and get all this so-called traffic coming but we couldn't handle the traffic. Yeah, this is common sense, this is basic 101, but oftentimes we forget the most simple things and bring in the technology first. That's this week's tip, and I'll see you next week.